Hello there, it's Jay here from Jay's Vintage Junk and today I thought we'd have a look at this. This just arrived in the uh, post um, this morning. And what we've got here is uh, cheap, and I do mean super cheap, um, under 15 quid delivered, um, USB digital microscope. Now I've already got one of these things, it's, um, it's right here. Now the only problem with this, it does work okay actually, I mean it's a bit how you doing. The only problem with it is, is this stand, it's horrible. Um, it means you can only fit very small um, items under there, you struggle with the stand. I did. I was actually planning on making a, um, a new stand for it. I was looking at perhaps getting an old um, test, test tube um, Bunsen burner stand, um, where the metal ones that used to use in like schools and they use in labs, and a uh, bracket that would have held a test tube and use that to hold the um, camera. Uh, but they're actually quite expensive even online like on eBay and stuff they seem to sell for quite a chunk of money like um, don't include in delivery and stuff because they are quite heavy like 30 quid for that and the clamp that I'd need um, like I said this was under 15 quid it was like 13 pound something or other uh, so I thought I'd give it a go and see if it's any better like I said I don't expect the camera to be any better than the one I've got it's more the stand that it um, comes with that I thought I'd have a look at but I thought we'd um, do a video on it and um, you can see what this thing's like. Like I said, it was um, super, super cheap. Anyway, it's um, innovation beyond um, imagination. USB digital microscope. Like I said, I'll, I'll stick a link in the um, down in the description um, to the uh, eBay seller I got this from. But there's loads of these on eBay. Uh, I'm sure AliExpress and stuff like that have them as well. It is quite for what it costs. Like I said, it was dirt cheap. It's quite comprehensive. Uh, we've got. It's a microscope micrometer calibration ruler. You can see that. A mini CD with the drives on it. I don't expect to need that because, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure that the camera is virtually identical to the one I've got. So um, I sh it should work with the software I've already got on here. But this is the important thing. We've actually got a, a quite reasonable. I mean, it's plastic. Obviously, it's plastic. But um, we've got a reasonable. Um, Holder for the holder for the um, microscope there. It's not the microscope itself, which basically is it's identical to the one that I've got. Yeah, it is. I mean, the buttons are slightly different, but apart from that, it's oh. Um, apparently, this is 200 magnif. My old one's 200 magnification. This is only 100. Oh no. Oh right. Oh, that's interesting. My old one's 200 magnification. The new one that I've got is uh, 1,000 uh, magnification. So we'll see how uh, how true that is. Apart from that, like I say it's virtually identical. Although the uh, the focus wheel there feels a lot lot nicer on this. It's like really rough and notchy and scratchy on my um, old one. Though this has had a fair bit of use. This feels like super silky and smooth in comparison and it's got a lot more turns to it yeah, it's got considerable more turns to it that's ah, that's quite interesting it's got the same a zoom which is a digital zoom and a snapshot button for taking um, snapshot images and then we've got the stand itself which that's not as heavy as I was expecting oh, let's get the box out of the way that's not as heavy as I was expecting actually. I think I'll zoom you out a little bit so you might be able to see a bit more. So we've got the uh, we've got the base there, we've got the standy bit, we've got the clampy bit, and we've got the microscopy bit and the software and stuff. Right, let's put this thing together and see what it um see what it's like. But really I want this for uh, working on um, PCBs. I mean, I don't need like mega, mega me uh, magnification. I do have a um, like a stereo microscope for that, but I could do with something um, that can actually fit a PCB under. I presume this is how it goes. Yeah, there we are. That's not bad. I mean, this is the 
bracket. And then why can it be fitted that way on as well? That's interesting. So you could hold the camera, you could use it as a webcam maybe? Or is this just some kind of universal stand? I don't know. In turn, like I said, you can't really complain for what it... Ah, there we go. For what it cost. Right. And you tighten that up, I think. There we go. Ah, so you've got rotation on that as well. So is that... Oh! Oh, wow! Right, that is quite cool, actually. Right, I didn't realise that. You've actually got um, left and right access shift on it as well. Only a little bit, but um, that, I didn't realise it did that. You turn that and the uh, this tracks across. That, that is very very cool. Right, let's uh, let's plug the um, let's plug the microscope into it. Oh, it's even, got a, it's even got a lens cap. My old one didn't come with that. So you've got a lens cap on it to keep um, crud out of there. We'll leave that on while we play. I know. I think you pull that trigger back. Ah, there we go. And then that should lock in, should it? There we are. I think, that, I think that's locked in. You still get to the... No, that stops the... Um, oh, no, no, it's just... Incre that's not a good a, a good design. Oh, no, that, I've got, I must have that wrong. Because you've got, like, that ridge in here that that's meant to... Uh, like on this one, you see how that plastic bit locks into a, ring, a ridge on there? <coughs> well, this has got the same kind of thing, but it doesn't seem to really want to sit in it very well. It makes the uh, microscope sit at a funny angle. Unless it's meant to sit at a funny angle. It kind of, like, makes it rake like that. Let's have a look on the box. It doesn't really show it from the box, unfortunately. That's annoying. But does that does kind of like rake up like that, and I, I'd expect it to want to sit flat. Now, if I turn it round, oh, hang on. No, if I, if I have it like that, it wants to wiggle that way. And if I have it that way, it seems to restrict that uh, moving. If I have it too far down, it's not that's not going to allow you to get to the um, zoom buttons. This is a bit of a... And it was going so well. No, this is a bit of a design... Um, a design fault, really. It, blatantly doesn't fit very well unless I'm doing something um, drastically wrong that's straightish I can get to the I can get to the control it does fitish we'll try it we'll try it anyway right let's oh you've got a um, you've got a dimmer on the um, flex there for the uh, <coughs> for the camera light. Right, let's plug it in. In fact, let's unplug my um, other USB one because I don't want to confuse the computer. We'll plug this in and we'll see if it just detects it. I expect it probably will do. I expect the base is on exactly the same technology. If I can find my... Uh, there we go. Find my hole. Try turning the uh, brightness of that up. That seems to work. Oh, right. Installing device driver software. So either I got the wrong USB um, hole when I plugged it in then. Oh yeah, I did. I plugged it in the um, in the next one along. We'll just give it a second. We'll give it a... I'll have a slow for my coffee. And we'll let it finish installing its device drivers. And I'll get you on the screen and we'll see if we can actually get this thing to do anything. 
we'll try we'll get some scrap out as well so we can have a look see if this is actually going to be any good I've got some scrap there it's taken a while installing these device drivers all right your device is ready to use so um, we've not installed any of the software that come with this thing we've just um, installed the device drivers which I reckon are probably pretty generic I know I'm not a victim of um, software account counterfeiting this can't be I was paying Microsoft for the software not when it's Windows 7 anyway not when I actually own a legitimate copy, but for some bloody reason it won't um, register. Uh, anyway, um, we've got camera view here, which is what I, um, I generally use for just um, prattling about with all web webcams and um, all USB microscopes like this. Let's see if it'll just straight connect to it. And yes it does. It's horrifically out of focus yet, but it does actually um, connect straight to it. So I've not even um, attempted to look at the software. Let's have a look at this um, calibration chart thing. I haven't got a clue how to use it or what to do with it. So for what I want to use this thing for, this isn't exactly necessary. Let's. Uh, that calibration thing on there and see if we can um, actually zoom in onto it. Let's come down with the. In fact, let's see if we can get it from up there. Oh wow! Oh, that's quite a. Uh, if that's just showing up the scratches in the um, plastic. Oh hang on, I've still got the bloody lens cap on, that's why it's um, it's looking like that. Let's take the lens cap off <laughs> and let's have another game. So I was focusing onto the lens cap then, that's why we could see them scratches so well. Let's see whether um, this thing will... I'm probably way out of um, line here yet. seem to be seeing anything there. Hang on. Let's try disconnecting and connecting again. Did you hit the snap button? Don't seem to be responding at all that now. You didn't like me taking the lens cap off. Let's try shutting the software down and restart restarting the software. We may have to resort to actually installing the software that came with it. God help us. I wonder how much malware is on the um, on that CD. <laughs> there we go, that's more like it. It just had a little bit of a glitch. So that's actually showing up. It's actually showing up what we're... Um, See if we can focus it. Oops, whoa. Yeah, it's not easy to focus when it's in this bloody stand. It really isn't. It's, in fact, it's horrible to focus, but there we go. That's actually quite good. Oops, let's try and bring it into. There's, ooh, you don't want to see my, um, my horrible fingernails, do you? show some idea. Well, that's that circle in the middle. Oh, it seems to have crashed again. That's not very good is it? Let's um, 
I think we might have to try risking the software that um, came on this, you know. So let me just uh, oops, put my um, put my phone out of the way because it's pinging, and we'll try the software that actually came with this thing and see if that's working any better. And then we might actually try my old um, my old microscope. Come on. Perhaps we might not be trying um, this CD because the, the DVD drive on this computer has decided right at this moment that it doesn't want to open anymore. Oh, modern technology, isn't it fun? Right, let's persevere with this software that we've got and see. Um, in fact, I wonder if we try we try changing what um, camera it actually is, whether that will make any difference. Let's have a... Well, it thinks it's a Lenovo Easy Camera, and that's all it's um, showing us. I'm trying to connect to it again. So it's yeah, it's working. Let's try sticking a PCB under there, and actually, because that's what I want it for. Basically, I want it for removing and working on surface mount. Oh, look at that! I don't know. That's quite decent. Let me zoom you in, because you're not seeing anything there, are you? Really? Oops. There we go. So you're at a bit of an angle there, but um, that's pretty damn good if you want to work on a um, work on a um, IC on a board like this. Let's try coming up as high as I can on the stand. So that'd be like give me optimum uh, workroom. But let me let me zoom you out so you can see everything. We can see the actual thing in no question. There we go. That's better, isn't it? So yeah, it's pretty. Good. It's, it's like I say, it's cheap and cheerful. But um, let me see if I can get that image. It's crashed again. Yeah, it's, as soon as I don't know, as soon as you touch it, let's try restarting the software again. Or is it just the software is absolute shite? Oops, no, it's the other way. Oh, look look at that. That's pretty sharp. In fact, that's perfectly sharp to uh, work on. You know, if I wanted to work on that um, IC there. I mean, um, I wonder if I can get you a... Just get you around a little bit so you can see. Oops, there we go. You can see the screen a bit better, can't you? Let me zoom you in again. I I can get that. I can't remember if this goes bigger or not. No, I don't think it does. You can't get the image any bigger than that. It's only um, DGA as well, this thing. <coughs> it's 800 by... Um, sorry, 640 by 480, so it's um, bog standard. It's not even um, Super VGA the actual camera but like I said it's good enough for stuff like this that's certainly um, workable on like I said you can actually see what you're um, see what you're doing if you got in there with um say you had to get in there with a soldering iron or something with a soldering iron it would be using an iron this big but um no that's crashed again because you can't see anything I'm doing on there why does the software keep crashing let's try it just for um so that's gone completely disconnect. Let's see if it'll reconnect. Didn't do this last time, it just sat there. Yeah. Let's um it could just be that this is a dodgy camera, I don't know. I'm gonna try my old camera on this stand and see if it's any better. That camera's got some like real plus points to it, but um let me zoom you out. 
it's got some real plus points to it that um, new camera like I say it's a lot um, a lot higher magnification supposedly but it doesn't seem to fit um, the stand very well I wonder if this one's going to fit the stand any better Ooh, and I just nearly blinded myself with the buggy um, lights on it but Probably gone out. There we go. You know, to have it like that, I can't move the thing at all. Move that down there. I can get to the uh, control a lot easier, and that's actually free to move. I'm not pushing them buttons in, am I? I am on that side. And I'm not pressing them in to actually work them. That's okay then. So hopefully, let's give that a try, shall we? Let's, um... Yeah, the only problem with this camera, it's one of them issues, is that the LEDs flicker on it. Um, right, let's give it a go, though. And see if we get any better. You see, this comes up with it. This fa fa identifies correctly as a um, USB U um, UVC PC camera. Let's try a bit of. Uh... right at the end of, edge of its um, focus range there I'll, just, I'll have to bring it down a bit I think but yeah that works apart from the fact that it's flickering that works um, a lot better well what we'll have to try and do so it's not going to be a complete test this because my um, my CD drive seems to have packed up on my um, packed up on my computer, and I'll I will try the um, the software that come with it. But I mean the drives uh, I've just found the drivers. They should be standard universal like uh, webcam style drivers for the um, camera. But no, hang on, that's crashed as well. That's stopped working as well. Hmm. It could be down to this software. I have used this software before and not had a problem with it. But you get the idea anyway, don't you? That um, yeah, thirteen quid. Well, for it's, yeah, thirteen pound fifty. I think it was. It's not. Um, it's not bad. Looks well, in hindsight, if it is just a software issue. And it's going to crash with either one. That was uh, my old one. This is the new one. And if we can just get a way of setting this so it. Oh. See, the problem is, although my old one's really notchy, this one's a lot stiffer. It's a smoother action, but much, much stiffer. to restart the um, software yeah it's um, this is the better camera I think yeah it's really nice it's just a problem with the um, like I said the software keep crashing but I'm sure I will sort that out that's that is a much much nicer actually. It's just a shame that that focus um, that focus lever on this one's so um, so tight really. But no, I'm, I'm quite pleased with like I said for the money for um, I say about thirteen pound fifty. If I need to get in somewhere like in, basically what it's for, it's for working on surface mount components because uh, my eyesight isn't getting uh, any younger. 
and uh, for doing inspection on PCBs. Now, actually, for a lot of um, that, this is great, just handheld. Um, but for some things where you want to really concentrate, just the fact that you can actually sit this, you know, like that, with a bigger board underneath it to inspect things is a real boom. That's like I said, that's the whole reason I um, I thought I might um, have a play with this thing. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now because I've waffled on for 25 minutes about this like you know, £13.50 um, just piece of tap. But uh, yeah, it's not, I don't suppose it's bad for what it costs. Um, there's some plus points, some minus points with it. It's a real shame it doesn't. Um, holding the stand uh, much better but once it's set like I say it does it does the job and uh, also I'm gonna leave it there for now I hope you enjoy this little video so uh, thanks for watching and goodbye hi guys uh, quick addendum <coughs> it does fit properly I'm just an idiot I was trying to fit it the wrong way around um, if you actually spin it round and fit it that way it fits perfectly it locks into the ring you can get to the adjustment uh, there really quite easily. It's a lot. It's a lot better. Like I said, I was trying it the wrong way. Um, it's because I had it that way around for um, filming. But no, I just thought I'd um, just add this onto the end of the video. That no, if you are thinking about one of these, it's actually not that bad. It does. It is cheap and tacky. It is cheap and plasticky, but it does actually fit okay. And we can get around the software issues, like I said, I'm sure if I uh, install the correct software that'll um, go away. They aren't actually bad for the money. Anyway, uh, like I said, once again, thanks for watching and goodbye.